Hey guys, this is Soul Rack 333 with another review and another test with my new camera. So, last time I talked about the G1 Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper, and so I want to do a little side by side comparison with the old classics figures. And um, for now, these are definitely my definitive Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper classics figures um, and uh, and I like them I've done some parts swapping for these uh, but first let me transform these guys real quick and again these are not the original G1 figures these are reissues or remakes or I don't know what to call them but same transformation so that one actually looks like Bumblebee and that one actually look, looks like Cliff Jumper <clears throat> and then this is the Henke Bumblebee and I swapped the spoiler yeah, so you have the chrome here but the plain plastic yellow I like that better I don't mind the chrome hood there but I like that it's a yellow bug vehicle And when I first started collecting these, at first I didn't like it because they were not G1 enough. Uh, but it's when I started customizing that I thought I would actually buy these and repaint them to make them more G1-y. Uh, but then the Henke did better paint schemes, and so that's why I got this guy. So there he is. And this is the actual classics cliff jumper with the rub symbol right there I've had some close calls this is some stress fracture right there So I don't care for the silver on the figure. Uh, never figured out how to remove that. If I could, I would. And now this cliff jumper has a new head. So I did a head swap and I've done two head swaps. And this cliff jumper head Originally, I did a head swap with uh, the Fall War for Cybertron. Oh no, yeah, one of those ones. Um, and then I did another head swap. with the new Earthrise Cliff Jumper. Um, I was not going to buy this, um, but then I thought, what if I could do a head swap and it actually works. Now, uh, what I do like about this head swap, it's a little small, but I don't mind. It's a lot more flush to the ball joint here. Well, it's the same type, so it'll fit but I like that it just sits in there perfectly. It's a little tight to get on, but once it's on, it's on. 
and I imagine that this head will no longer come off because it's really it was really tight to put on there um, but once it's on the articulation is just fine it pivots just fine um, but yeah I'm no longer taking that off and speaking of head swaps here is my original classics bumblebee with uh, a different head uh, I can't remember what head that is and I think it was a hunt for Decepticon some helicopter dude um, fits in there perfectly so there's my classics bumblebee with a new head um, but the funny thing I don't use either of these as my bumblebee on my shelf I use this third party bumblebee it actually does transform into a Volkswagen and so that makes it nice to display with this classics uh, cliff jumper so yeah I like that and then so yeah I thought maybe this would be a nice uh, addition but I hate the parts forming I don't like how small he is the transformation is cool it's just the parts forming makes it look like they just quit halfway through their shift and said ah screw it let's parts form to show the backpack um, don't like how small he is I mean that is a $20 deluxe figure which is the same size as a $9 scout figure or a nine dollar legends figure so man yeah, so a twenty dollar deluxe figure and a nine dollar deluxe figure hmm so yeah what I'm gonna do, I'll find a better head for this guy, um, and then customize him, and then I'll probably sell it. But anyway, here are my classics. Bumblebee and Clip Jumper. Oh, my little G1 bots right there. And let's give him a weapon. Yeah, so I'm giving him. So I'm giving him this guy's weapon. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.